How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at creating titles using packets. Now before we created an action bar um, which we also create in this video uh, but before we create an action bar using the API, but I want to show you guys how you can do it without having to do, without having to use any APIs and just do it right in Minecraft. So we are just going to just use our loot, our uh, loot chest plugin that we created uh, before, and we're just going to use this so we don't have to go ahead and make a whole bunch of uh, new projects here. So we're just going to do a simple on join, so public void on join and just to let you know all the code will be available for you guys on github so go over there and check it out if you're having troubles that is if not then uh keep on coding all right so got our um join event there so let's just go ahead and create our typicals here which are you know our player variable and that should be good for right now i don't think we're gonna really need much more so what we're going to do next is we're going to set up our packet and now for anyone who is curious of what packets are available you can simply just go packet play and you can see all of these different packets that you technically have access to um, some are a little bit more useless to basic uh, you know basic plugins or any sort of server um, but in the end they all technically do have uses um, depending if you need any of those but we're just going to do a simple packet playout title we'll just call it uh, title and now it's just going to be a new let's uh, import this so we can do this over here Then we're just going to need a new packet playout title and then what we're gonna do inside of here is pretty pretty it's kind of confusing um, not super super confusing um, so what we need to do is we need to let it know which um, title we want to use, right? So we're going to say title action or enum title action. And now we have all of, well, not all of these. There's only a couple. We have action bar, subtitle, and title. And now you can't use subtitle without title, just so it's known. And times, I'm not actually quite sure what this one is. So I'm going to explore that one in a minute here. Um, but right, so we're going to go enum title action title. And then now we need to do a chat serializer. And now this can be kind of confusing for a lot of people, and it still kind of is for me. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and say chat serializer dot a. Um, and this is just a chat based component, um, as you can see here, chat based component straight through the Minecraft server, or right through Minecraft, not bucket. And now what we have to do inside of here, and now this is where it gets kind of confusing. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and put in these parentheses here. You will not leave these parentheses right and then the next thing you want to do is put in these squiggly brackets because everything will be contained inside these squiggly brackets and now the next thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and do I believe what it's a backslash and then we have to put another set of quotations and we're gonna say text text because that is what we're doing and then we're gonna do another backslash and now I want it to be known if you well let me just put this here so all the components inside this chat serializer, as you can see there, my chat serializer technically works now, but as soon as I don't have this, it's it's incorrect. So and actually I think I might tell you right here if you go over it. Invalid sequence. Yeah. So everything so everything in front of the slash here, um, it needs to be inside quotations with a slash at the end of it, right? If that made any sense. I'm not really sure that made any sense. But um yeah, everything needs to be inside of quotations. Each element of the chat serializer needs to be inside quotations. So then, after we do that, we will go ahead and put down another slash, okay? Another slash, and another quotation mark. And then, what we can start doing now is we can start typing what we want to happen, right? So we're just going to do a little 
uh, we're gonna do that we're just gonna enter this down here so you guys can see it better and let's go ahead and do this as green and we will say hi or actually we can just say we'll just say welcome that's just pretty pretty standard message and then what we're going to do is we're just going to put in another slash and then another quotation mark because we're ending this element this element right here so let me try to explain this if I can so everything needs to be inside a set of quotation marks which we have right here then everything needs to be inside of these brackets which we have right here then everything needs to be inside of these slashes which we have right here and then each element well realistically each element has uh, its own set of uh, slashes here so now we have a title so now what we have to do is we have to go ahead and basically we have to create an instance here of craft player and then this is just going to be player so now what we can go ahead and say I'm not sure why that did that we can say get handle. I don't know why we could import it then, but we couldn't before. Uh, and then we want to say get handle dot open connection or not open connection. Sorry, um, player connection. Then from here we want to go ahead and just say send packet, and we're just going to send our title packet. So basically, what this is doing is this is we are instance instancing craft player over player because we're getting its handle, and its handle is craft player then after that we are getting their connection and we are just sending them a packet of data so if we go ahead and export this um, it won't work because we're missing an element over here so we have to put another comma here and then we have to do a couple things here we need to go ahead and say how many ticks is the fade in how long we want it to display for and then how many ticks is fade out so we can go ahead and say you know fade in is 10 ticks or 40 ticks it stays for 20 ticks and the fade out is 20 ticks and now we can go ahead and export this now if we reload there and if we join the server we can see it just says welcome and we don't see the fade in really because um, we're logging in when the packet is actually sent so that's why we don't see that fade in. If we change the fade in to be something much, much longer, we, we could see the fade in actually happen. So let's just go ahead and say that our fade in, we want it to be 100, 100 ticks or five seconds. So if we disconnect, and now if we log in, we're still, we're still not seeing the fade in, but I guess that's okay because it doesn't really matter. Um, I guess the package is being sent, our, our connection is being sent too quick uh, for us to be able to see that packet. So that is how you do um, titles with um, packets. It's pretty simple. Like I said, this is probably going to be the hardest part. Um, and now we could add a, a, a subtitle and it would be the same exact thing. We would just do a new packet playout title. We could literally just copy this, change it to subtitle, change this to subtitle. Um, but what I'm interested in is I want to see what this times is. That's that's where I am curious. So let's reload and let's rejoin. I don't think that's anything. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. But we could go ahead in here and we can go ahead and say action bar. And if we export this, reload, leave, come back. You can see there it says welcome and then it fades out so you can do a lot of really creative things you could go ahead and do scores down there on the action bar um, for your titles you could do it so every time they join a game or you could do your countdown with the action bars um, like I said there's a lot that you can do and we'll probably end up using this action bar here for maybe TNT tag um, just to showcase it a little bit more but that is all I got for you guys today pretty small video pretty short um, definitely read up some more on chat serializers. I'm going to read up a little bit more myself just so I can get more familiar with it so I can explain it better. Maybe do a whole video talking about chat serializers um, because serializ serialization is honestly pretty confusing um, and there is quite a learning curve for it. I mean, I've been coding for I don't even know how many years, like two, three years, I don't know. 
kind of on and off probably for like two or three years and I still have yet to really understand chat serializers um, so definitely take some time to look that up and read about that but for now thank you guys so much for watching and come back on Thursday for our next video